Are you okay, everyone? They've accidentally pressed the wrong button, so let me put that back on. So let's have a look at example three then. So example three says, sketch the graph of, showing clearly where it crosses the coordinate axis and state the coordinates of the vertex. So because A is greater than zero, because it's a three, I know it's going to be a U shape. Now then, let's have a little graph of it on the calculator and see what we can get away with doing. So it is. Put it back in. Right, so let's have 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. So let's have a double check. To make it look nicer, I might change the axes. So I might have x going from minus 4 to 3. So minus 4 to 3. Have a look at it. And then have y only going to about minus 5. Maybe a little bit more. I'm just fiddling with the axes. And I've done some wrong there, haven't I? Put my Y max and my Y min the wrong way around. There we go. That's a pretty picture. If I check the root, so if I do G solve and root, it tells me at minus two, and then if I press right, it gives me a third. And then if I do G solve for the vertex, so it's a minimum point. If you look, now they're crazy decimals, so I'm going to have to do something proper for that. So I know that the roots were, where are they? x equals minus 2, x equals a third. But in terms of my vertex, um, I want to do completing the square for the vertex. Remember, it's a first of all, take the 3 out, and before you do, so that's hard, and you're taking away. Before you do, um, I'll the square. Uh, I believe. So the 2 is 24, so that's going to be minus 14. Now. I graph it, make sure my vertex is in the correct quadrant. I've got roots of, what was it, a third and minus two. So the vertex of minus five over six, minus 49 over 12. There you go, have I answered everything you wanted? So we want to see coordinates, we want to see the axis. I've got any doubts right now. So when uh, x is zero, y is minus 2. There you go, I've got all the info. So I've used what I could from my calculator and done a proper job on the stuff I didn't because it wanted kind of exact values to say. I've uh, got another one. So this one I can't really use my calculator for. So it says x squared plus kx where k is a positive constant. So what I can do though is think about what would x squared plus 2x look like. So if I graph x squared plus 2x, have a look at that. It will show you which way around, or at least which part of the axis it's going to go on. Oh, x squared plus 5x, what is that? So my k is 5 at the moment. It says k is 5. It says k is positive, so that kind of works. That doesn't work. Use minus, it zooms out a bit more. Right, so if you look, that the x squared plus 5x has roots at 0 and minus 5 which means the x squared plus kx will have a root at 0 and at minus k. So we can do the maths behind that, because if I put x squared plus kx is equal to 0, I can take out x as a factor. So I've got x is 0, or x plus k is 0, so x is minus k. 
So I've got something which looks like that going through, oops, going through zero, which of yours goes through zero, and going through minus k. I'd expect the line of symmetry to go halfway between zero and minus k. So I'm expecting the line of symmetry to go through minus k over two. So I've got those values there. I could use completing the square to find it. As it happens, this one does not ask for, so it's fine. So I'll, that's fine for us. Uh, but if you wanted to, oh, come on, let's do it. So if I did completing the square with that, I'd be x plus k over 2 squared minus k squared over 4. So the vertex for that will be minus k over 2 minus k squared over 4. So that would have a coordinate there. We can read it. So it will merge up. So there we go. So that's quite nice. Fourth example. With a question, or sorry, fifth example with a question for you. Uh, so look. So it says find the equation now. So this is a find the equation. And we've got another find the equation. So we'll stop the videos there because the next couple of things do the same.